has been hit like so many other places in America by the greedy bastards driving our U.S. banking system. Remember, it is the greedy bastards' behavior in that system that is central to our economy's functionality that has been distorted so terribly and got us into the mess we're in. So we're connecting the dots today on banking. And it all started when capital requirements, the basic regulator of all capitalism, vanished for some, shall we say, special bankers. Thank you for coming. Securities market traded in the dark without capital in the 21st century. They call it the swaps market, and it's Wall Street lingo for selling credit insurance. It effectively ended capital requirements for those special bankers and allowed them exclusively to trade and place bets without having the actual cash to back it up. You can't even do that in Vegas. This rogue, secretive market created a $700 trillion global gambling parlor and reversed incentives away from traditional investment in entrepreneurship into speculation and debt manufacturing. And it gets worse. In order to fund this game, the special bankers solicit money from teacher, police, and civil pension managers. These pension managers rely on gatekeepers called ratings agencies to determine low-risk investments. Many pensions are only authorized to purchase from the highest rated funds, AAA. And here's where the misaligned interests come in. The special bankers who do not deserve AAA status pay off the very rating agencies the pension customers depend on to make that evaluation. Making matters worse, in Washington, our tax code is written by bought and paid for politicians to reward speculators and extractors while punishing savers, investors, and inventors. Then, in 2008, we were introduced to the concept of too big to fail. If these special bankers go under, their cascade of failures would threaten our society's most basic necessities. So Washington promises to bail them out no matter what the cost. And these VIP passes allow the too-big-to-fail banks to blackmail society into keeping the extraction game going. It's a vicious cycle that infects everything from housing to jobs to even the cost of food around the world. But we can fix it. Historically, this has only happened after a major war. Lucky for our generation, war is not a prerequisite for such things. By beginning to mandate capital requirements throughout the entire lending system and putting swaps on a public exchange, we can realign the interests of our financial institutions with our country. Additionally, we must end the conflict of interest between banks and the rating agencies that our pensions depend on. Banks should have to earn that rating. It shouldn't be for sale. Helping more, a reversal in our U.S. tax code could incentivize and encourage true long-term investments and punish credit speculation and extraction. And finally, and most importantly, a prerequisite for all of this is global debt restructuring and debt cancellation. As we detail in Greedy Bastards, we must push for a new Marshall Plan. An encouraging sign for the first time since the financial crisis, someone aspiring to the Oval Office is pushing for exactly this. You recognize the distress. You take the loss and let people reset. You let people start over again. You let the banks start over again. Those that were prudent will be able to restart. Those that aren't will go out of business. We did it after World War II and the American Civil War. We even did it with the Brady Bond debt restructuring in Latin America in the 1980s, so we know it's possible without a war but only by ruthlessly acknowledging the problem and using our values of visibility and integrity can we realign our interests so we can find the true compassion to get our nation back on track with true investment. And true investments means a direct pathway to prosperity through the creation of 30 million jobs, whether it is in our pillars of industry and trade reform, the cradles of innovation we talk about all the time, or in the real compassion work that is available every day from teaching to nursing. Uh, you can find more details about all of this and all of our Connect the Dots in our book, Greedy Bastards, uh, and of course online, all the Connect the Dots available at greedybastards.com. Do take a moment uh, to check it out.